Once again, put your hands together for Def one more time. Great next nice job. The second performance in the African Poetry Theater, the show of event. So remember, we got water over there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on. My next poet uh, is one of my good friends, good, good, good friends. Um, he's supposed to perform two months ago as well. He didn't perform, but um, he promised me that he'll be here tonight. He's here. He goes by the name M A T T M A T T Matt. Put your hands together for Matt. One of my good friends. I love this guy. You don't need the mic. No. Nah. Well, this is good. How's everybody tonight? Uh, I just want to say to Ace. I'm proud of you, man. You got a good thing going over here. You got a lot of stuff going on. And uh, it's a good place to get together for poets, artists of any type, writers, aspiring or established, and uh, getting here tonight in a venue like this. And uh, I applaud you, by the way. And uh, I also have to say something political. Just vote, change this administration, and let's... Uh, Let's get some uh, uh, new, fresh uh, breed up there. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Tired of this guy. All right. Uh, my poem's name is uh, A Cynical Guide to Life. The rain seeps through the tunnel, leaks onto my black tie affair, a suit not sweet enough to gain access to the other side, where you preside, alive and doing well. My white shirt bleeds black, the only color I've bled for years. Trapped inside, the walls close in, the streets lift up, and the high ceiling crumbles down. No place to go, I have no option but to dissolve, disappear without ever seeing time again. Lost, but only a skip away, I am blind with no dog or direction. The pace of my enclosure speeds violently, crushing my arms. I push up against my last salvation, a disaster. My arms break into pieces. Slowly, the rest of my body follows. I am dissolved. I leak into the ground from whence came, mixed with rain, grime, and ash, miserable like black eyes in sunlight, adrift as I float into the air, precipitating above, yet still in the tunnel from which I have stood still for years, once a tunnel only a skip away, now a tunnel longer than the journey of the voyager which, exists out, which exits our solar system. I recognize this now from the mist that I have become. We are a pale blue dot, yet not quite the nothingness Sagan said it is. The tunnel is now a box, but unlike Pandora's, this box will never be open. I remain here forever, with no belief of another life after my mist has dissipated into the vast nothingness of the universe and away from the time I destroyed on this blue mass of life that you call Earth and I, and I call nothing. Check, check. Once again, put your hands together for M-A-T-T. Very nice.